Hello everyone, this is Pustak Verma and today we are gonna deal with a poem from grade 12 compulsory English, new course. It's a day by Emily Dickinson. Before reading this poem, we have to see some of the questions mentioned in our text. They are in question A. What kind of a day do you like? Rainy, sunny, or foggy? Why? Tim like kosto khalko din man parsa rainy, sunny, or foggy? The answer is I prefer rainy weather over sunny or foggy due to following reason. First one, I find the sun to be annoyingly bright and the heat to be uncomfortable. Second, rain washes away everything and makes clean and brings a new life in the nature. Third, rainy weather is comfortable and somewhat temperature is good. Fourth, and the last one, we get good sleeps and relaxing during the rainy weather. Question number B, how does the sun tell us about different stages of the day? So the answer is, the sun tells us about different stages of the day through its rising as the morning glory. As it rises in the east, we call it morning. As it unveils its helmet of darkness from the greenery hills and gives birth to the day. It's racing like a squirrel over the wars at the midday and the setting at the end by making the word contaminated indicate darks or nights or death. About the author Emily Dickinson, she is one of the most eminent American poets of 19th century. Her poetry was heavily influenced by the metaphysical poets of 17th century England as well as her reading of the books of Revelations and her, her upbringing in the Puritan New England town. Another thing is uh, she is known for her bold original verse which stands out for epigrammatic comprehensions, haunting personal voice and the anismatic brilliance. Dickinson's never married but wrote many magnificent love poems and this one is significant, is important as well. In her poem, Audrey Dickinson, through the use of brilliant imageries and symbols, describes a beautiful day that leads the children from innocence to experience. About the summary of a day, Emily Dickinson's a day has been depicted through the viewpoint of an innocent child. That means the speaker of the poem is an innocent child who presents his or her views on the sunrise and sunset in a village scene. The setting of the poem is a village presenting morning glory over the hills and passing of the sun over the hills like racing of the squirrels and ending with sunset. So the first stanza of the poem symbolizes rising of the sun. The morning sceneries of the sun is described by the child in very innocent way. The rays of the sunbeams stretches like ribbons of different colors yes, and travels like squirrels run to get away. Here the poet presents a simile and simile refers to the comparison between two things. It is a rhetorical s. Yes, a device and it refers to the comparison between two things using as or like and here the news and the s squirrels are compared by using the like therefore it is a simile so the news like squirrel rain to state that the pace of the sunrise is as fast as or as speed as uh, the speed of the squirrel as the sun rays pass over the hill, it reveals the greenery atmosphere by uncovering it from the black hills out of the bonnet. By the line, the hill untied their bonnet means the hill uncovers its beauties and charmness after the sun shines over it. When the sun shines on the steeple, the steeple refers to a gajur of the church. It glows like amethyst in color and here amethyst means a kind of purple stones which is expensive as well. The morning magnificent scenery and pristine hills and singing of the bobolink impress the speaker. These all things impress the speakers very much and here bobolink refers to a kind of birds. Then is the child lacks confidence as he describes about the sunset. And the sunset, uh, as the sunset 
the words becomes contaminated and black the parents wait for the children to return even the students also return to their house so workers also returns to their house all the people return to their houses in the evening the sunset here depict, depict the end of the day or the end of the life sunset banego kyuta life pani elai metaphorically life ko ending ho death ko kura garcha and uh, in general sense ele ke garcha ta end of the day the view of sunset represents going back home as she talks about the sunset her tone becomes serious and gloomy she becomes sad as well she says that the sun disappears below, uh, below the horizon and nights of course and everywhere there is darkness she associates here the sun to death sunset to death the poem is a metaphor uh, symbolizing life and death metaphorically it refers to the journey of life from, journey of people from life to death where the life is fixed and secure but the death is uncertain it presents the notion that if the world is seen through the eyes of an innocent child it looks beautiful and amazing it also reflects that a child is innocent and everything a child looks is pure and is amazing as well as beautiful then the visual summary of the poem the speaker is looking out through her windows and towards the sun rising which rises over the s valley and hills as the sun rises it makes the words looks very bright and beautiful of different colors like the ribbons and the amethyst it shines like the amethyst like the stones it the rays of the sun passes like the squirrels is at the speed of the squirrels when it falls on the steeples it also shines brightly and presents with different colors looks very beautiful the bobolink sings its songs and makes the words very uh, sweet and the domini also gives lectures to the even students or uh, to the other s peoples as well at the sun sets Yes, the students, even as the children returns back to their houses, people also those who are working in the city return to their houses. Those who are working in the field return to their houses. As the sun sets, the world become contaminated and dark, and it indicates the yes, uh, death or even the end of the life as well. So then about the glossary steeples, tall towers with a spire on the top, amethyst, purple, precious stones, bonnets, hats tied with the strings under the chins worn by the babies and the women, bobolink song boards with large somewhat flat heads, short necks and short nails, Dominia schoolmaster, schoolmasters, a pastor in Scottish and clergyman in USA, style, a set of steps that help people to climb over the fence or the walls then about the questions understanding the text in question a how does the poet describe the morning sun in the first stanza right away first stanza ma morning sunlight kasari banan garika chan so the answer is the poet describes the morning sun as the sign of contentment that means happiness saying that in the early morning the rising sun looks as first is as at first gorgeous and then golden sunbeams stretch like the ribbons it comes with different colors vibhinna kisim ko colors ko sath ma auncha when it shines on the steeples it glows like amethyst in color it glows like the is purple stones overall she glorifies the sun signs and shows its majesty power in the first stanza Question B. What does the line the news like squirrel rain mean? It is a simile as well. And through this simile is as the squirrels are running faster running creatures through the given similes. News like squirrel rain. The poetess means to state that the pace of sunrise was as fast as the speed of the squirrel passing over the steeples, hills, buildings and so on. Question number C. What do you understand by the line the hills untied their bonnets? A bonnet is an old fashioned hat that ties under the chins and to cover the head. Here the hill untied their bonnets means 
हिल्स अनकवर इट्स ब्यूटी एंड चामनेस आफ्टर द सन साइंस ओवर इट जब सूर्य के होता आपको प्रकाश हिल में इसलिए आपको डार्कनेस हटा एट अफ न्यू मजेस्टिक ब्यूटीज प्रेजेंट दे अन्भेल डिस्क्लोज ओपन देयर बोनेट अफ डार्कनेस टू डिस्प्ले देयर ग्रीनरी एटमोस्फिर विच कैच इज द अटेन्शन अफ द स्पेक्टेटर्स द सन साइन ब्रेक्स अवे द हिडेन ब्यूटीज अफ द नेचर एंड द हिल्स सो द क्वेश्चन नंबर डी इज द स्पीकर वाचिंग द मॉर्निंग सन व्हाई आर व्हाई नॉट के स्पीकर ले बिहान को सन हेरी रहेका छन् अथवा हेरी रहेका छैनन् द स्पीकर मे नॉट बी वाचिंग द मॉर्निंग सन रादर ही इज नैरेटिंग हिज ओन एक्सपीरियंसेस एज हाउ द सन राइजेस एंड हाउ इट सेट्स थ्रू हिज फ्रेज यस आई विल टेल यू हाउ द सन रोज एंड हाउ ही सेट्स This line presented by the speaker R40 is, is indicate that the speaker is narrating his experiences. So I know not. Unlike any thought, as we remember the definition of William Morrisworth poetry is a spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings. It takes its origin from emotion and is collected in tranquility. So in the same way, the speaker is may doing the same thing. The case is same here. So question C: How does the sun set? Actually, the poet doesn't know how the sun sets. He looks is even ambiguous. He looks even is doubtful as he talks about the sunset. As he talks about the sunset, his tone becomes serious and gloomy. She says that the sun disappears below the horizon, night occurs, and everywhere there is darkness. She associates the sunset to the death. Then, a reference to the context. Question number A. What according to the speaker is the day? Speaker को विचार में day बने को क्या हो? A day is a lyrical poem by Emily Dickinson which describes the sunrise and sunset in a literal sense. But in metaphorical sense, the speaker by this refers to the journey of people from life to death, where life is fixed and secure. But death is uncertain. The poem details the transition from the life to death as well. Question number B: What purpose purpose does the hyphen in the first line serve in the poem? Uh, answer: The hyphen, uh, hyphen is a punctuation mark that is used to join or join uh, the words or parts of the words. In the poem, Emily Dickinson uses punctuation marks like hyphens as she doesn't find the suitable words to express her deep emotions. She gets pauses as well, and then she presents. So furthermore, she uses it to grant the readers to imagine and complete the missing words by the speakers, and to show the power of silence in the certain circumstances. Question C: What makes this poem lyrical and sonorous? Here is the poem. A day is a lyrical poem in the sense it expresses personal feeling or emotions of the speaker through the first person pronoun I. The poem is lyrical because it presents the personal feeling or emotion of the speaker through the first person pronoun I. First person pronoun को माध्यम ले उन्हें प्रेजेंट करेगा सन अपना पर्सनल फीलिंग या इमोशन. Because of that we can say that it is a lyrical poem. And the, it is sonorous. अब ये sonorous किन्ह चाहता? Because it is full of sound and rich in verses. Here the term sonorous refers to the musical and melodic in nature. quality is the poem where there is use of alliteration and assonance rhythms rhymes onomatopoeia s and so on question number d who are the target audience of the speaker why kaslai tapai haru le targeted audience ko rupma lina saknu huncha the target audience of the speakers are those kids are those children are those people who wake up late in the morning as Uh, we come to know about this through the line i will tell you how the sun rose it means they have is not wake up in the time is and it also means that means to state that these kids have perhaps not chance to see the morning beauty of the sun it's rays over the hills due to their late waking up but in metaphorical sense it depicts the journey of life from birth to death addressing all the people of the world Question E: The poem seems to describes a day for the children. How would the adult people respond to this poem? Discuss this poem with your parents, guardian, and write the answer based on their responses. So the answer is: The poem a day seems to describes a beautiful day for the children by portraying the sunrise, depicting the sunrise and sunset with its 
greenery atmosphere. On the other hand, in philosophical sense, the same poem projects the transition from a life to death through the different phases of life, like using the racing of the squirrels. Reference beyond the text. Observe your surroundings of one fine morning and write a poem based on your own experiences. So the poem I have written here is, and the name of the poem is Good Morning My Love. The rays of the sun spread over the hills. They enter through the window, make me wake up. Morning mist in is in the environment, dews over the trees, radiance over the hill impressed me much me. Sweet songs of the morning birds, ringing bells of the clocks, and the good morning from my love. All night did I wait for this moment. Every day brings so much more. To look forward, fly high over the sky, and every moment brings so much delight. Just being with morning glory and my love makes everything feel right, impressed me from all sides. Then about an essay, right? A personal essay a day in the schools. So this is an out questions. You can write yourself as well and present your own views as well. So I have mentioned here as a day in the schools. Essay a day in the schools. A school day is a golden period of man's life. I'm a student of class 10 or class 11, even you can say, in a reputed school of Nepal Guns. A day at my school is like a chain of work and enjoyment. My school starts at 10 20 a.m. The first bell is the bell for the prayer. All the students stand in queue of their respective classes. Prayer starts with the national anthem, Sayo, Thunga, Fulkwahami, and Inch. After the prayer is over, students go to their classes in line. Durations of the every period is 45 minutes. My class teacher is our English teacher and he often takes us, takes up to the text in the first period. His lesson is very interesting. The next period is for mathematics. Our mathematics teacher is very strict. Our Nepali teacher is very simple man. He has a very sweet voice. He recites verses in such a sweet voice that we are simply charmed after fourth period the recesses period starts or the interval starts as soon as the bell rings for recesses goes yes, the students rushes towards the canteen to have some refreshment lunch tea they sit in the grassy lawn to eat talks and laugh at certain points some of them discuss politics other talks of film and matches our teachers also relax and rest in their in the staff's room Two period follows after the success. We are taught by the respective teachers. We attend to every lesson with the most care. The ringing of the bell, all of us leave the school with our bags. The school presents a noisy atmosphere for a short time as all the students come out of their classes and they murmur. This. Along, I along with other students go out of the main entrance to the respective houses and this is uh, and examples of a day in a school. You can write your own days also here. Yes. So, okay, so this is much about the poem A Day by Emily Dickinson. Uh, regarding this poem, if you have any queries, mention below in the comment sections. And if you find this video helpful and interesting, like it, share it, subscribe it and click on the bell icon to get notification of upcoming videos. Thank you everybody. Goodbye. Have a good day.